Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today we are playing Terraria Android Edition. Now, we had an update recently, which was probably last week. By the time... Yeah, it was last week. This video is out now. I'm only recording it on Tuesday, uh, what, Monday. So I'm only recording it one day before. But this update was like last Thursday. So this is a very old update now. And a lot of people were saying to me that the uh, spider staff, you know, the queen one. It's sort of like the... Whoa, Wraith attacking me right there. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Anyway, um, it's sort of like the Frost Hydra, you know, where it's a stationary. So it is a stationary mob, what I thought, and it is pretty much useless to me. So I will not be using the Queen Bee Staff. It might be very strong, but to be honest, it's not something that I really need, and it's not something that I would use. But anyway, let's uh, get back to spawn. Don't know what I'm doing out here. I've not even got my light source or anything on. Not even got my pet spawn or anything. Just my twins. Right, so let's get all those spawned in. And then we will start off. I don't know if to go to the dungeon first. Because I do need to go to the dungeon and explore it. And hopefully find a black belt. If I can find a black belt. I have a tabby now. I think it's in one of these chests. Let's have a quick look. Nope. Not in that one. But I know it's somewhere anyway. I know it's somewhere around here. And I've got loads of junk on me that I don't really need. So I can trash things like this. You know, like this. I don't know. I don't really need adamant type that much. I just got a load of things. There's my tabby. So, I've got a wild tabby, which I want to mix with my ninja gear. My normal, I think it's uh, tiger ninja gear or tiger climbing gear. Yeah. Tiger climbing gear. That's the one. And then if you mix that with the tabby and the black belt, you get the master ninja gear. Now, the master ninja gear is very good because it allows you to dash and it allows you to dodge enemies' attacks. Gives you a higher chance to dodge attacks. And overall, it is just a good thing to have, in my opinion. It's not 100% a good thing to have. But in my opinion, it is definitely something to have. So we do have all of our ectoplasm now, which is really cool. We could make a pair of ghost wings, but I'm not going to. And I think our dungeon's to the right. Take a quick look if we can see that. Yeah, it's to the right. So we're going to head over to the dungeon then. And then we'll go to Golem as well, or Golem. Golem, Golem, that's like a posh way of saying it. But no, we'll go to Golem as well and hopefully kill him today, which I don't know if we will or won't. But it all comes down to the look of the draw. Now, a lot of you guys was wondering how I killed the Crimson mobs here and how I built this trap. Well, it is a really, really simple trap, guys. It's so simple, you will not believe it. All I did was put blocks around me. I used this lava basically destroy all these blocks and the lava would flow down and then anything above me would get killed anything below me would get burnt in lava and of course i had the spear traps now a lot of you were speculating how did i get the spear traps if i don't have the pixel because in the 1.2 before 1 update they updated it so when you destroy traps you can't destroy them with well anything you can't destroy them so the way you have to do it is you have to get dynamite off the arms dealer or the demolitionist sorry you get off the demolitionist and he will sell you dynamite now it does it is costly it's one gold each so what i actually did was i already had a stick of dynamite and i just literally threw it and it has such a big radius of blowing up that it blew up all of the spear traps that was in the dungeon now you might be wondering how did i get in there if i didn't have a key at the time well the way i got in there when i didn't have a key at the time was well i didn't the traps was outside. So if you create a new world, there is a good chance that you'll get the tra uh, traps outside of the jungle temple. Not the dungeon, the jungle temple. So it's there's a good chance of doing it. There really is. Hopefully today, we can get ourselves a wisp in a ball as well. Because I do not like the um, harpy. Uh, harpy? It's not a harpy. Cupid. I don't like the cupid anymore. It's got really bad now for me to use. Well, in my personal opinion, it's really bad. It might not be really bad, but in my personal opinion... It's got really bad to use. It is hard to keep using. And it just don't follow you fast enough, pretty much. It's the main problem with it, because it don't follow you fast enough. So, yeah, you're pretty much going around. Ooh, got to be real careful there. So, yeah, I think, um, hopefully, we don't get any paladins spawn on us, because this would be a deadly place for paladins. It really would. <laughs> Can you just imagine a paladin just landing on us? Ooh, tactical shotgun. That could probably take us out straight away if that hit us right. So you've got to be real careful with the rocket launch dudes and the tactical shotguns. And the snipers, definitely. The snipers, more than anything. The reason I say that is because the snipers do about 100 or 150 damage per hit. 
So if they hit you three times, you're pretty much dead. Or they might even do more damage. I don't know the exact damage, but I know they take off a good quarter of the bar. So it's probably 150 damage, I can imagine. But that's just an estimate. I don't actually know the full damage. Okay, we're going to find any... I really want to find... Really, really badly want to find... A Bone Lee, which just doesn't spawn in this world. It just doesn't. The Bone Lee seems non-existent in this world. But I've actually saw two down here before. But I was not ready to kill them then. <laughs> I wasn't ready to kill them at all. Come on, there's got to be a Bone Lee spawn soon. Meaning, uh, I've noticed if I do move around a bit, more enemies seem to spawn for some reason. I don't know why, but... When you go off a certain part of the screen, I guess it's because you're not on the screen. They spawn. I, d I don't really know how it works, but... But we're doing a good job at killing these Hell Armored Bones, but it's not really a good thing that you can get off these, to be honest. But you can pick up a weapon from them, but... It's not nothing that you can really use for anything. So it just sucks. And I don't think we're going to get any... I don't even know if we're in the right background. We might need, might need to be in the other background. You know, the normal, no, Diablist. Diablist, I hate Diablists. This is probably the best place I've been for a Diablist to spawn, though. Because we pretty much killed it. There we go, killed him. And we've got a gold key off here as well. <laughs> nice. Unless that was off the skeleton that died. Please go away, Diablist. I don't need you in my life. Go away. You just need to kill it before it does anything, and it's not effective at all. So the Diablists are quite easy if you attack them straight away. But if you don't attack them straight away, you're pretty much done for. You are done for. Come on, Hal Armored Bones. Boom, you're dead. You are done for. Destruction. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be some more enemies around here. Not just Hal Armored Bones. Is there any, is there any ninjas? Come on, ninjas. I want, I want Mr. The Epic Ninja to spawn out of nowhere. Just knife me in the face with a with a black belt. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? First one we kill, we get a black belt. That'd be lovely. Well, I remember the first one I killed, I got a tabby. So, I was quite happy about that. But, if I got a black belt on my next one, I'd be even more happy. Literally, I'd be over the moon. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to get our health potions. Yep, we've got them right here. So, luckily, we do have actually have them on us. Because, you know, sometimes we're derps and don't bring them with us. Because we're the, we are big derp. Well, I'm a big derp. You guys aren't. But I am. <laughs> so, that's what I do sometimes. I just forget to bring them because I don't use them a lot. Because normally the vampire knives can, are sufficient enough to make you live. But, whoa, that spawned in front of us. Anyway, um, normally they're sufficient enough to make you live. But, there is time to time where you will need a health potion like now. There we go. And then I've healed my life up enough to live pretty much. So if I jump up, okay, it didn't spawn that time, but if I jump up without shooting, okay, it didn't, no, okay, yeah, it did spawn. See what I mean? Like, any spawn down there, which is really weird. There's a blaze wheel, there's a Diablist, we need to kill him as fast as possible. The only bad thing about Diablists is when they shoot, they can shoot through walls. So, it doesn't matter if there's a wall in the way, they will shoot through it, and there's a Bone Lee. Boom, our first one. Hopefully it don't disappear. Are we getting it there? I think we're just about getting it there. And we're healing ourselves up quite a lot. So that's good. If we just keep it about there, we should be good. Let's just check if the Bone Lee's there, though. Ah, Wait! <gasps> we got it! Oh, my God! We got it first drop! Violent Black Belt plus four melee speed. Well, we don't need to do Violent. All we need to do now is go back home, get on the Goblin Tinkerer's workbench thing, and once we've mixed together the Tiger Column Claws... The Black Belt and the Tabby will have Master Ninja Gear. Oh my god. No joke. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I just am. Oh, I'm a little baby again. Literally, I feel like a little tiny baby. Just been born. So, so happy with life. Yep, that's what I'm like now. Boom. Let's get that baby. Let's uh, unequip this because you can't actually have things equipped for some reason. When you make things, I don't know why. But you can't, so you need to have it in your inventory. Now we have all three pieces to actually... I can't believe we've got it on our first one. Talk about look of the draw. I mean, we'll go kill a Plantera in a minute. And if I can get the axe on Android Edition, I will actually, like... I don't even know. I'll probably poo myself. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's, that's, that's weird. But anyway, <laughs> what am I even talking about? But no, if I do get one, it'd just be insane. Okay, we've got to be a bit slower here because I've noticed that it does glitch. There we go. There we go. Master Ninja Gear allows you to climb its walls, dash, 
and gives you a chance to dodge attacks, which is really good. Did we get any, um, anything on it? Oh, it's just standard Mass Ninja gear. I'm, I noticed on mobile that a lot of the items you get, they're always standard and never reforged. So, like, I don't know. When, whenever I make an item, I never get, like, legendary or, or violent or whatever I'm making. Really depends if it's an accessory or an equitable. Here we go. Oh, okay. Right, here we go. Let's uh, pick this up, put it into the Goblin Workbench, and we have 48. Let's see what we've got. We've got Fleeting, which gives us plus two me me movement speed, not melee speed. Plus two movement speed again. Oh, we've not got enough money. No way. No. Five gold. Hmm. Will that give us enough money, though? No, it won't. We need 20 gold. So we're just going to uh, take this now. I'll take fleeting. I guess that'll do for now. I don't know what we had on it before. I'm pretty sure we had violent. But it doesn't really matter. We will take fleeting for now. And we should be able to double dash. Oh my god. We can. That's going to be really hard to do though. Like, I can do it right. Fine. Maybe not. No. No, I can. I can do it fine. But right. Left, sorry. I can do it left fine. But when I'm doing it right, it's a little bit hard. So... Yeah, it's a little bit hard to do. Someone was telling me how it's quite hard to use. But I always wanted that accessory just because it's so cool. It's just always an accessory that I just use. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not like amazing or anything. It's easy to get. It's, it's quite straightforward. You just need two of the things, that, three of the things that you get in pre-hard mode. And then obviously, what, two of the things to mix to the tiger climbing claws. And then you mix them with the black belt and the tabby, which I think I've done a good job to get that, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but... I feel really good after doing that. So let's head over to our dungeon now. Uh, jungle, sorry, which is to the left in this world, I believe. Ah, oh, the arms leader was slain. Unfortunately for him, we don't care about him. So we're just going to move along. Hashtag savage. Nah, joking. But honestly, guys, I don't even really care about the NPCs. Because they don't really sell you anything that you can't get yourself, pretty much. It's, yeah, I don't know. The NPCs are helpful early on. But later on in the game, they're just not helpful whatsoever. And we got ourselves another orange blood root. Soon I'll be making orange dye if I can get enough orange blood roots to make myself three sets of dye, which will be awesome. Don't want to dye my accessories though. I just want to dye my actual, uh, my actual character, so my actual armor and stuff. Right, we got any plantar? Oh, we have got a plantar bulb here, have we? Where is it? Wait, did we do it? Nope, there it is. Thought we already did it then. I was like, what's happening here? <laughs> and then, it, it, yeah, I realized that I didn't even spawn it in. <laughs> There's Plantera. There we go. Oh, baby. A triple. Okay, I don't want to get stuck on there. That's that's probably the worst place to get stuck. Come on. We're taking it while. Well. We're doing it well. Plantera's getting destroyed, isn't it? You just need a good open area, a pair of vampire knives, and you are away. Literally, you're away. You just are. Like, no matter what it Plantera does to you, you, you pretty much, look, you, you heal so much that you just don't need to worry about Plantera. Or maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. Okay, I might even die here. Honestly, I might, I might even die. That's not good, guys. That's not good at all. That would be suck if I die. Because we do need another key to open this jungle. Because I actually opened the one in the other world. Because we actually killed Plantera in the other world, if you remember, guys. So I do actually need another key anyway. So we're about to need to fight this Plantera and kill it. Come on, he's going to die. Hey, there we go. We killed him. We got a weak Venus Magnum, which sucks. We don't need the Venus Magnum, but, you know, it's always something. It's not too bad. And we just fell in the lava, which probably did more damage than anything will do in here. Now, we've got the weak Venus Magnum, which, like I said, is a really common drop for me. I don't know what it is for me in the Venus Magnum, but I always seem to get it, like, all the time. And I don't know why. I just do. So it sucks, but, you know, it's not all that bad. Let's head over to the right anyway. Once we're at the right, we will hopefully go into the temple and kill Golem. Now, this is a thing pretty much the end of the game after I've killed Golem because that's all bosses. But we've got a lot more stuff to do. I want to get more accessories. We've still got the waves of mobs to kill. You know, like a pumpkin moon and the frost moon. And then after the pumpkin moon and the frost moon, pretty much everything, I think. 
We've got, we still haven't added solo clips, which is another thing. I guess that's another wave that you can count onto it. But after that, then, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Another planter. Should I fight it? Or, no. Mm, should I fight it? I don't want to die because this is quite a, a cramped area. Yeah, I'm not going to fight it just because it's such a cramped area and I don't want to die. So, yeah, I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to chicken out on that one. What? The, what is all this around the door? Tried to open the door and there's something on it. Right, there we go. We've opened up the door. Hello, hello. Mr. Luke here. Ready to take all of your treasures and loot and glory. Let's go. Into this place. Whoa, what happened then? I think my... my <laughs> I think my dodge just took me away. Took me away. This jungle temple looks a lot better than the other one. Don't know why, it just does. In my opinion. Hmm. Got a skeleton. Hang on, this is so weird. There is a... Okay. This is probably the weirdest spawn. I saw one of these before. It's a... Underground thing where you find it's like an abandoned mineshaft thing in a jungle temple with eight gold coins as well. Jeez. So it's like a normal. This is such a weird world. It's got it underneath as well. There's a jungle. That is weird. That is very, very weird. Now, last time I did this, someone actually. Oh, okay then. Let's take that. We'll take that. We need to deposit something in the chest. Let's deposit these. We'll take that and take that. And we should be good. Yep. We're good. Now, what I need to do is I need to remove all the traps because they're going to be really annoying. Can I actually destroy them with this or... No, see what, see what I mean, guys? You actually need the pixel now, which is quite annoying. But let's try and go just go across the floor and destroy any of the... Pressure plates. Hopefully, I destroyed all the pressure plates there. I don't know if I did or didn't. But then... Whoa! Look at all these mobs. There's so many of them. Jesus. I'm poisoned as well. Nope. I didn't destroy any of the pressure plates. Not one of them. Not a single one. <laughs> Let's heal some life back anyway. Once we've healed some life back, I will block it off. And then uh, I'll light the area up with torches. Because I do have a bunch of torches on me. But we need to we need to get some life back first. Jeez. We're slowly getting it back with our vampire knives, though, which is really good. This is why I love vampire knives, because they're so OP. Flying snake. Yeah, dead. If any of these drop lizard uh, eggs, not li yeah, lizard eggs, or the actual temple cells, as well as the cells to, get, to actually spawn him, that'd be awesome, because they, they do have a chance to drop them. Here we go, if we put that up there, because we don't need that. If we light up the area now... Wait, what? Why is it lighting up the area? Come on. Come on. Drop it all in. I want to light up the area. Boom. Right, now let's get some normal blocks out and we'll block all this stuff off. And then we also need to block in the golem. Here we go. Okay, I'm blocking myself in more than anything. What a mistake have I made. Okay, we've got flying snakes everywhere. We've got lizards everywhere. And we still got the traps everywhere as well. Go away. These lizards are so annoying. Please, just go away. <laughs> Please. Right, here we go. Where is... Where is it? I mean, I'm dodging the attack, but come on. Where even are the pressure plates? I can take them down with this. But I need to pinpoint where they are. No! I just landed on the pressure plate again. This is so hard to pinpoint where they are, guys. It's going to be too hard. I think that's the pressure plate, isn't it? Yeah, there's one gone. Right, that's one done. It's one done for. We need to look real careful. I think there's one there as well. Yeah, that's another one done. Is that another one? That's another one done. All right, we need to set... Oh, there's so many traps! So many of them! Stop! Jeez! Stop it! Oh, my goodness. The lizards. I swear. They're out to kill me. They just are. 
Come on, there we go. We've got to... We're going to take the floor down. Oh, my God. No, no. They've been set off again. They've been set off again. I'm teleporting home. I've been poisoned. It looks like we're not fighting Golem today, guys. It's too crazy in that place. We're going to have to come back and remove all the traps next time. But... Literally, that place is just insane. Don't know why it's so crazy in there. Last time we went in, it was crazy as well. But I don't want to waste a golem spawner if there's just going to be loads of traps. So what we'll do next time is we'll clear out all the floor. And then we'll make a path so that we can kill the golem quite easily. But anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed today's episodes. Sorry if these episodes are quite short. It's because my recording app. When it records a long, long amount of time, it tends to cut things off. So here and there, it might suck a bit. But hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace. He's gonna spin attack yet? He's gonna do it any second now. More than half his life is gone, and we have got a ton of time to kill him. Come on. Really beautiful. We are actually beautiful in this, and my minion is sort of guiding me on where to shoot, which is what I really like about the minion. Once you get his arm down, he's chill. Real chill. Oh, where is he? It's just chill. It's just chill, guys, is it? Not even getting near me. I reckon he could really take a lot of my life off, though, if he, if he even got near me. So, what I'm trying to do is just stay away from him. Come on. 